all those magazines together, and it seems though there's hardly a family in my neighborhood that ain't taking one or more of them regular. So I got to thinking about the Texaco ads in all them magazines, the Texaco billboards, the Texaco radio programs. And I got to thinking what this advertising all means to me, to me personally. So I got to studying and I got to thinking of Texaco advertising with kind of a different feeling. And I made some mighty heartwarming discoveries. Take the uh, magazine ads and take the billboards. Well, the more I studied them, the more it come to me that, uh, well, fellas, uh, did you ever notice how one guy can tell a story and hardly nobody will even crack a smile or pay much attention to him? And how another guy, before he's hardly got started, they, they got him sitting up and chuckling and hanging on to every word that he says. And it's the same way with advertising. Some ads get folks to reading them and agreeing with them, and some don't. I'd like to show you some of the ads that Texaco is going to run for us this year. And see for yourself if I ain't right when I say that Texaco's got a real knack for attracting attention and telling a story. Uh, all right, okay, operator. Do you mind flashing on a few of those ads for us? Oh. Smoke means trouble. Now, if that ain't a swell picture of a real boy in trouble, I don't know what is. That's bound to make every man who sees it recall the time he tried out one of his dad's cigars a little too soon. Oh, the soul missed that one. Smoke means trouble. Boys, it sure does when it comes from excess wear in your motor. This ad tells folks that whenever they see a car on the road with smoke pouring out of the exhaust pipe, you can bet it's probably caused by wear. Wear that the right oil might have prevented. Of course, once she smokes like a chimney, what's this? Darned if there ain't a smoking chimney. I was just starting to say that once a car starts smoking like that, there ain't nothing can be done except an expensive repair job. And darn if there ain't an ad about a smoking chimney. Then here's a picture that'll make folks stop and read the same way. Smoking shirts or smoking cars, they both mean the same thing. Trouble. Every time anybody sees a smoking car on the road, they just can't help remembering these ads. And before their cars start to smoke and lose power from too much wear, There'll be plenty more of them come in by Haviland. We've got some bang-up ads on Texaco motor oil again this year. Short, easy to read, to the point. And every ad tells about the price, how cheap it is, and how many miles you get. But see for yourself. I don't have to tell you how good they are. And now, I'd like to tell you something about the registered restroom campaign. Remember last year we had a swell ad and a bill poster showing this same little girl? Well, they tell me the advertising people had so many nice comments on that advertisement that they decided to run another one next July, as near like it as possible, with a little different twist to the headline. So here's the little girl back again. Only this year, she's a tourist. The advertising people sure know a good thing when they got it. And they got it all right when they got the idea of such a little tyke being a tourist. There's another registered restroom ad that's going to run in the magazines right after that one. I'd like to show you that one too, but uh, it ain't ready yet. And speaking of uh, knowing a good thing when they've got it, the Texas company is going to keep going in 1941 on that uh, peace of mind theme that's done us so much good on Marfax. We're going to keep reminding folks how they keep worrying about what their dog's going to do next. How it gives them the jitters when a fatty sits in the antique chair the wife's so proud of. And all funny things like that. And how us Texaco dealers can take one worry off their mind, and that's proper chassis lubrication with Marfac. Yes, sir. Once the Texaco folks hit on something that does you and me a lot of good, they got sense enough to stick to it. Same way, remember? Last year we started night service across the country. Company's going to keep it up again this year. I'd just like to show you one of the 
ads that's going to be run on all night service. If that ain't something that's going to make people think that Texaco dealers are doing everything to help people on their way at night, then I give up. And I know it'll do you and me a mighty lot of good in making people feel more friendly and grateful for the kind of thoughtful service we give them. Now, while we're at it, here's some more Texaco advertising. The 1941 series on Sky Chief. Remember we had ads last year showing drawings by this cartoonist? It seems to me he's better than ever in this ad where they're proving that Sky Chief starts quicker than a jackrabbit. And in this one, too, where he's got some inventor with a nutty contraption to start cars. The headline says, somebody ought to tell him about Sky Chief gasoline and to quit fooling around with such gadgets. Now these Sky Chief ads seem to me to be just what I was telling you, a knack for telling a story so it gets over to folks. Same with Fire Chief advertising, a snappy getup in color so as to catch the eye, and mighty little copy so folks can get our message quick. There's going to be 64 ads altogether, and the advertising folks tell me that they spread out these ads in the magazines so that we really get an ad coming out on Fire Chief pretty near every week. Fact is, they tried to explain to me how all these Texaco advertising campaigns are spread through all the leading popular magazines all year. So it's kind of a neighborhood spider web they're knitting for me. They can't nobody know where it's escaped from. Sort of made my head swim to hear them tell how it's done scientific-like. But that didn't prevent me from feeling kind of good all over about it. Yep, even the leading business magazines have got Texaco campaigns running in them, so as to sell businessmen and executives on Texaco. And all the main farm magazines, too, with ads all summer long. 57 of them, all told, is telling the farmers how Haviland, Marfac, and Texaco motor oil will save them money with their tractors and equipment and their cars, too, and technical magazines, shops. There's Texaco ads in 45 separate technical magazines that's published for the 12 biggest different fields of industry. Well, I guess you've seen enough magazine advertising to convince you that we're going to have a real program this year. But I do want you to see some of the posters we're going to have, too. I don't know what you fellas think about posters, but I think it's one of the strongest kinds of advertising that we can have. Because folks see poster advertising right when they're on the road, thinking of their cars, and thinking of the kind of gas and oil that they use. Now I want to ask you a plain fact. Is there anybody going to see this poster that won't make them want to try this gasoline, which makes driving seem like flying? Then here's the poster on registered restroom, with our little gal back again to remind folks that the Texaco dealer is the only place to stop for these fine, clean restaurants. And here's the poster that's being considered for fire chief, clean as a whistle, human, appealing, and right to the point. 